contest that encourages teens to educate themselves and their peers about the value of saving and using money wisely. Videos are entered at participating banks. These banks then choose a local winning video and submit it for judging at the national level. This year's national winners were announced on February 25th, 2015. The winners receive money to fund their savings goal and each school receives a scholarship for a teacher to attend the 2015 National Jumpstart Educator Conference. Um, and so the really cool announcement that we have that I hope you've seen along the way is that the first place national winner for the Lights Camera Save um, competition this year uh, is Christopher Choice um, from Freiburg Academy. Christopher lives in Denmark, Maine, and it was submitted by Norway Savings Bank in Norway. And I'm gonna show you his video, but Christopher is also here, so he's gonna come up and talk to us a little bit about it. Um, the grand prize winner uh, not only received a $250 um, savings um, college scholarship from Norway Savings, but the national winner also receives a $5,000 scholarship. So that is an amazing honor. If we could just give Christopher a big round of applause. Um, a little bit about him. Um, Chris is a student at Freiburg Academy, as I mentioned, and he's an active member of the Freiburg Academy Filmmaking Workshop. His winning video submission earned him, again, as I said, a $250 scholarship from Norway Savings Bank, which was presented at the Bridgeton Bank in December. His video was then submitted and won the national award, as I mentioned. Um, so it's very cool. I think that competition is such a great way to engage students in this topic. I think that filmmaking and technology and the use of technology is a wonderful strategy um, to engage, and I think Christopher is an exemplary example of that. Um, I'm hoping that somebody could come and hit the project computer button here. And I think we're good to go. But I'm gonna... um, Sarah. Everything went to sleep in the first half of this presentation. You hold on. In his award-winning video. When you invest in a savings account, you invest in your future. You can further your education, go on a journey, bring that special someone on a romantic dinner. Don't forget the wedding. Afford your dream car. Buy your first home. Be financially secure to raise a family. Start your own business. And be able to retire. The possibilities are endless. So come to your local Norway Savings Bank and set up an account today. Norway Savings Bank. Colorful solutions. really cool. Um, but Chris's video, as you saw, is titled Life of Savings. It was created using stop motion techniques. Uh, the video features Lego characters and backgrounds that were used to demonstrate how saving money is an investment in the future. You can view the video on YouTube along with all of the other um, um, first through third prize winners, and I think a lot of the other nominations are out there. So with that, I'd like to welcome Chris up to the stage to talk a little bit about his project. Thank you. So I made this film last year in October and in November, and I submitted it to the um, Bridgeton branch of Norway Savings Bank, where it got the local grand prize of a scholarship. And then after that, I found out in January that I went on to the five top five. And then after that, we held a viewing party on the day the um, results were announced, and it turned out that my film won. Um, I'm the first student from Maine to win this award, and I hope that next year um, we have more entries from Maine, and that hopefully someone else gets in the top five or even wins. Um, any questions about my film? Who did you get to do the voiceover? So I set out an online casting call for a Morgan Freeman impersonation, and the person that ultimately got the role was John Wondelli. 
Any others? Yes. Well, the whole goal of the contest, I believe, was to promote saving your money for college, especially. And as a senior who's saving up for college, I kind of brainstormed what my future would be like with saving money. And I hope that this inspires young kids and teenagers to save their money um, because college is expensive and so is life. Um, any other? Yes. I did, yes. I think it did, yeah, because about 400, maybe 500 kids showed up to see the viewing party. Um, and my video and the win also inspired other kids from the school that were going to make a film this year to do it next year. Any others? I'm going to college at SMCC. Keep it local. Anyone else? I'm a Lego fanatic myself. Did you build all the sets? I did, yes. Anyone else? All right. Well, I believe that um, financial literacy in classrooms is important because I think that when you're trying to solve x squared plus y minus c divided by a, that's not important. I'm sorry, it's not. <laughs> Learning how to balance your checkbook is more important. I just got a checking account a few days ago, and I didn't know how to balance a checkbook. So I'm learning that. Um, I took out loans this past week for college, and no one told me in school how to do that. Instead of learning stuff that I probably won't use. So my suggestion is to show your students my video um, and bring them math problems and financial problems in a relatable way. So yeah, any other questions? Yes. Going to SMCC, keep it local. And while I have, oh, for um, communications and new media. And while I have the time here to lay out a my new film, um, it's called Toy Soldier, and it's about a boy with one last wish, and he's terminally ill, and the proceeds are going to cancer research. Um, I actually have a pretty star studded film. I have Bradley Gregg, who was in Stand By Me, um, and Indiana Jones, Nightmare on Elm Street, E.G. Daly, who was the voice of Tommy on Rugrats, and Buttercup and Powerpuff Girls. Michelle Knox, who was in Pokemon. Um, I have Mark Murphy, who's an alumni of Fiber Academy. Um, he's a celebrity chef. Um, and a bunch of others. Thank you. Uh, me Jumpstart would like to present you with a, um, just a minor congratulatory token. Um, it's actually a $50 gift card that you can use to continue your filmmaking efforts. And congratulations, I think it's great. Put Maine on the map, the first recipient of the award, and we're, we're really proud of that. Thank you. Thanks so much.